Hey everybody, I'm Connor. Welcome back to the Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for creating cool videos. And today we have something unbelievably exciting for musicians and vocalists alike. I know that dresses, dresses, Have you ever seen any videos by Jacob Collier or Pomplamoose and thought, that's really, really cool. I would love to make a video like this with my band or just by myself, but I would have no idea how to edit it. Well, on today's episode, we're gonna dive headfirst into the basics of multi-screen editing a video of your recorded music. The first time I saw a video of Jacob Collier performing jazzy renditions of classic songs, I was blown away. Not just by his ridiculous music theory, but also how cool it was that he showed himself performing a song all the way through in multiple different takes, all in one frame. For this episode, the Movavi Vlog team has created its own multi-screen video. The song we've chosen is Attention by Charlie Poof. His music video has gained 874 million views and his song was charting on the Billboard charts for about 40 weeks. Our video is going to be an attempt to recreate this song with the materials that we have. Want to see how it turned out? Well, keep watching and we're going to guide you through the entire process. There are plenty of ways to accomplish a multi-screen video like this. You might just want to use guitar and vocals. Some people might want to only use drums and bass. We wanted to show you a bunch of different instruments that you can incorporate into your own video. So for our interface, we're going to be using the Universal Audio Apollo Twin Mark II. It sounds just as complicated as saying Smitty, Werbin, Jake, or Man Jensen, but he was number one, and so is this interface. This is not a paid promotion. We also are gonna be using a keyboard for MIDI. We have a drum pad, bass, guitar, this multi-pattern mic, and this bad boy. We knew we would have fun making this video while teaching you how to do your own in the process. So this is mutually beneficial. You're also gonna need a place to record and edit your music called a digital audio workstation, or also known as a DAW, or DAW as some goobers call it. The DAW I'll be using is Logic X. Along with your DAW, you're also gonna need a video editing software. Today I'm gonna to be using Movavi Video Editor Plus. This episode won't be about the audio recording process itself, it'll be more about how to shoot the recording process and then edit it into a beautiful multi-screen video. The best way to record yourself is with a metronome. Unless you have perfect pitch and perfect timing like Collier or Puth, you're gonna want that metronome. The video and audio will all be recorded at the same time, instrument by instrument. Then, at the end, we'll turn all of those audio recordings into one audio file called a bounce. Then, we'll match the audio from the video with the bounce in Movavi Video Editor. We're also going to be adding some audio effects in our DAW to liven up the vibe and give it more of our personality. The way we've done this is to play along with the original track as we record. It's always fun to ad-lib if you got the chops, but for today's sake, we're going to be wanting the track. So here is our plan. Just like shooting a short film, you'll need to plan out your video shot by shot so that you know where each clip will fit on the screen. Make an outline of how you want your video to look and make an outline of the instruments you'll be using and where in the song. It's also much easier to edit the video if each instrument is recorded from start to finish instead of recording clips that you'll have to crop and position again. Map out the timestamps in your DAW or on paper so that you know where to insert each instrument. This will also help you match up the audio quickly. Record video on your camera and audio in your DAW at the same time. If you're able to record the audio into your camera, that's fantastic. We weren't. <laughs> so we just played the instruments through speakers and used our camera's built-in mic as another way to match up audio quickly. But not for vocals. Don't do that. Record the videos of each instrument in terms of how you'll be cropping them. Here's how we did it. The sampled drums were shot from above. The bass was shot from the front. We wanted to have some energy hit you from Roma's stage presence. The guitar was very similar to the bass. The keys were then shot like the sampled drums. Then the vocals were centered with the harmonies facing left and right. Bounce down the song as a wave or MP3 file and import it into Movavi Video Editor. Upload a background that you would like to use in your video before you add any of your clips. To keep everything organized, it's best to create new video tracks for each instrument. Reference your timestamps or the waveforms of each file while importing your video clips. It may be best to do one instrument at a time. Once they are all on your timeline, you'll be able to place them in better time by using your ear or matching these waveforms. And we'll do the same with the rest of the instruments. 
Once the videos are in time, go to a section where all of the instruments and vocals are in together. Crop them accordingly. Besides the main vocal, which will stay consistent, you can cut each clip at the point where they no longer are playing. Leaving blank sections of the screen is definitely okay. There you have it. You've just edited your first multi-screen video, and I'm sure it looks awesome. Drop us a link to your multi-screen recording, and we'll check it out. We'll leave ours at the end of this video if you want to hear it all the way through. I just want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions on anything we've covered today, please feel free to ask us in the comment section and we'll reply as quickly as we can. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and let us know any ideas you have that you want us to work on in the future. Have a great one. We'll see you very soon.